ever made art that doesn't resemble or look like anything? Just textures and colors and shapes? Let's have some fun with abstract art! Hi eyeshiners and eyeshine parents! We are back for another fun eyeshine online art camp class. I'm teacher Kara and I love to play and have fun with paint. For today's art adventure, we will be looking at different ways to stain paper to make beautiful collage material. Having pretty paper will really give our collages that extra pop. We'll be playing with paint, we'll be playing with color and texture, and exploring different abstract techniques. So that means it won't look like anything familiar, or it won't look like any object you can recognize. And that's half the fun! So today we're going to have some fun, we're going to get a little messy, and I'm really excited! explore different ways of staining paper. So the first way we will try is our watercolor stain paper. So we'll need a sheet of paper and our watercolor paint, also a paintbrush and our wiping towel and also some water to wash our brush and a spritz bottle filled with water. Are you ready to start? So the first thing we need to do is spritz your paper. So you'll notice that the paper is already getting transparent. It's very delicate paper. So you can use bond paper. You can also use scratch paper. You can use any kind of paper you like. You can recycle paper and see what new techniques you can come up with. So since it's an abstract artwork, it doesn't have to look like anything. So I'm going to play with circles because I love circles. So we'll make a cute little circle over here and another circle here. Let's make a big circle over here that you can't see. You see how it's wrinkling there? That's okay. We're just making stained paper. It's part of the fun. And I'm even going outside my picture. So eyeshine parents, it's, let's make sure that we're also working on a table that is safe for getting messy. That way, we don't restrict our creativity. There. So the yellow looks ready. Let's wash our brush and get another bright color to have fun with our yellow. So I'm just going to wet the next color. And we're going to go crazy by wrapping some fun color around our friends. That's cool. So we're going circles and circles and we need more color circles and half circles i like it okay now let's see there's still some white space would be nice to fill it with another color let's bring in some purple i'm just gonna fill up the spaces with some purple and we'll just catch it because it's fun. There. So what's the most important step for making our stained paper is the fun. Are you still having fun? Because if you are, we are doing a good job. Ooh, that's so pretty. I think we can add something inside. The circles. Let's see if we can bring in some bright green. Yeah, let's put some green inside the biggest circles. Oh, that's pretty. And we're almost done. Just a little green in here. So an abstract artwork means it doesn't have to look like anything which really leaves us a lot of freedom to explore how color likes to make friends and different ways we can play with patterns and textures. And we're done! Another fun way for making 
stained paper for collage is by lifting off textures from objects we find around the house. So I have these interesting textures that I found. You can even make your own by folding paper in strange ways. I like this pattern. It comes from a laundry bag. We'll need crayons and different kinds of paper. You can use bond paper, colored paper, or even recycle old paper like newspaper. So I'm going to start by coloring the colors in different colored patterns on top. The most important thing to remember when you're making your textures is to not move your paper. So you have to have good finger muscles so that your paper will stay put. So let's color. I'm going to make a cute little patch of color over here. Green. Let's see. Let's change color. And I'm going to make another patch over here. I can wiggle my paper around. I'm going to make another patch over here. And then let's see, let's try purple. Another patch over here. We're just filling up the paper. So remember that abstract painting, there are no rules. You can just have fun. Oh, I think this color is a little too light for me. I'm going to mix it with some orange. There you go. Much better. And then I put some orange here and some orange there. So I'm just filling it all up until my paper is filled with fun texture. Hmm. Let's see, another color would be blue. Almost filled up. So you can try also coloring hard or coloring really lightly and see which one is better for you. There you go. And it's done. So this is a very interesting pattern. Are we done with this pattern or do we want to add more? Let's try adding a second pattern on top of it. I found this really cool pot holder and it's filled with stripes. And let's see if we can add a nice dark green all around it in stripes. That's nice. I'm going to move it around so that it looks interesting. Make some sort of basket looking pattern. Very pretty. So have some fun when you're lifting your patterns. You'll notice that you can actually make your own really creative collage materials. If you just look around the house, you will discover treasures hidden all around you. Next, we'll use glue as paint. So we need white glue, we need our food color, our paper taped down, spoon and fork, and a wet wipe so that we can wipe up our spoon and fork really quickly. And this is how it's going to end up looking. So pretty. Are you ready to get started? So first, we need a lot of glue. So we want to have enough glue that we can make it go all around our paper. And then this one I learned from a really good friend painter who loves to use palette knives for painting. She says, do not underestimate the power of the spoon. It's really great for spreading paint. So we have our paint spreader, the spoon, and go all the way around the edges and up. let's add some color. So I'm going to add the blue on the bottom, maybe two dots. Oh, let's go three. And then we need the red. Let's add the red on top. Bump, bump, bump. And let's have some yellow in between. And I'm making sure to put my color 
on top of the spots that have a lot of glue. So let's start with the yellow. Interesting. They make it nice and messy. You can even go in between the other colors. Beautiful. Now let's wipe up our spoon and start with the next color. Let's go with the blue. See how fun and easy this is? So when I'm mixing my colors, I start first by not making them touch too much. And then I can invade the territory of the other color. Ooh, I love it. Green. Okay, let's wipe it off quickly and go with the red. Now the red is up here and down there. And let's go crazy with our red. And then let's, of course, mix it a little. Ooh, look at that orange. And mix it a little in here. And then we have all the colors. Now we can also still play with this. It's not yet done. We can scribble over it. This is a super fun paint because it is thick. And with thick paint, we can create textures and patterns. So I'm very curious to see what kind of patterns you're going to be making. Remember, we're doing abstract art, so it does not need to look like anything. And it's done. So just let it dry. Make sure no other paper stick to it while it's wet. And we'll have beautiful paper that looks like this. So today we looked at different ways of making stained paper. We tried some dry techniques with our rubbing textures over here. We also had a wet on wet watercolor technique where we made shapes in different patterns. You can even try doing our glue and, and food color technique and it can create fun, thicker textures. Thank you for joining me on today's abstract painting adventure. Today, we learned different paper staining techniques and how to make simple paper look really amazing. So we'd love to see your work. Please remember to share your videos and photos with the hashtags promo for eyeshine and nurture the gift. So don't forget, catch teacher Robert's video and he will play with all these textured papers and make the most beautiful collages. So see you next time.